Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Stories. Plans for home cruise spot in Viewford are advancing despite the impact of COVID-19. COVID-19 prevention and control protocols are extended to the end of May. And Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney looks forward to critical changes in CARICOM with a new Secretary General. Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney has completed the first week of a two-week quarantine period following his official travel to Miami, Florida on May 5, 2021. There, Prime Minister Chastney held talks with the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association on the plans for the home cruise spot in Beaufort. Honourable Chastney provided details during an appearance on the GIS Weekend Wrap-Up Program. Here's Homer DeMarc. Prime Minister Honourable Alan Chastney, having returned from official travels, provided an update on several projects which he indicated will be of major benefit to the country and the cruise industry. Highlighting other cruise spots in the region, the Prime Minister noted that given the increase in the size of cruise ships, cruise lines now require more than one home port. As such, St. Lucia would make for a valuable addition. Another infrastructural project on the cards for St. Lucia is that of the Uonora International Airport. Honorable Alan Chasney explained how that project complemented the southern home port. The decision was to move the terminal um, perpendicular or off to the side of the bottom of the Kakabeth as we know it. Um, what that would have allowed us to do is, is the following. One is to build a new airport without interfering with the day-to-day -day operations of the existing uh, terminal. And that once the new airport is finished, um, the goal is to convert the old airport specifically into a charter hall, but one designed very much in mind of home porting. So what would happen is passengers would arrive off of the flight um, into the existing HIA terminal, um, which would be reconfigured, and passengers would not be clearing customs and immigration in that facility. What they in fact would be doing is being processed to get into their cabin. So they would get their room keys, they would put all their credit card information, etc. And literally when they leave um, that terminal to the new, uh, to the ship, which is only about a mile and a half away, they actually would be just going straight to their cabin and their bags would have been sent in advance. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney explained that the cruise industry is very excited about this venture as it offers additional benefits, including the close proximity of the port to a dedicated terminal, aiding significantly with logistics, saving time, money and creating a better customer environment. He added, however, that the venture has not been without its challenges. The difficulty that we've had, um, Lisa. Um, was one, once over, one overcoming the current financial status of the cruise industry. And secondly, that the cruise companies wanted to be satisfied that there were sufficient tours available from View Ford um, to service the remaining passengers. Because as I indicated to you, not all of the passengers getting on the ship would be coming on from St. Lucia. So the, there would be other passengers who arrive on that same ship and would be going on an excursion for the day. And so we've been working very closely with them to give them the assurance, one, that Sufer is actually closer to View Fort, substantially closer to View Fort um, than Castries is. So it means that there's extra time that persons can stay in, in, in Sufer. And what uh, are some of the new tours that we're doing in the Sufer uh, area? The second one um, is the, the opportunity for new tours between Viewfort and Sufer, as well as between Viewfort and Denry. The Prime Minister explained that the meetings also encompassed talks with technical personnel to iron out the final details of the agreement. However, a more formal pronouncement will be made at a later date. I will be making uh, a more formal um, pronouncement, hopefully in the beginning of June, and I'm hoping that the uh, MOU between um, the cruise industry and St. Lucia would have reached the point where we can sign it. So those are the details that we're working on. I felt it was important to go up to Miami because this has been one of the projects that we started from day one. And I certainly want to see it through its fruition um, before um, elections. 
The home cruise port will be strategically located in VA4 in close proximity to the UNR International Airport, giving St. Lucia a competitive edge. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark reporting.